Hey, what's up guys? It's Rick. I'm super excited because today we're going to be searching a Ford Police Interceptor sedan. It's been so long since I came across one of those. And there is something very special about this Taurus. I'll show you guys what I mean. We're going to fully search this. I'm going to show you all the equipment, all the goodies she came with. We're going to put her to the test. We're gonna search for that biscuit, so let's go. Here she is, she's a 2014 Ford Taurus Interceptor sedan. The only police vehicle made by police for the police. The Interceptor sedan has many upgrades not available on the civilian version. She's big, bad, and mean. Let's get on with our search. She's missing the grill from some sort of accident. And you can see they put a little bit of Bondo there and try to cover it up. But the siren speaker and the lights survived. Well, kind of, because this one's a little off to the side. Looks like they put some rope. When I first picked her up, the grill was like in three pieces. And by the time I got here, all the pieces were gone. Oh, and check this out. This is hilarious. <laughs> It's like that on both sides. It's like this department was very resourceful. And we got a wheeling spotlight. Let's turn this thing on. Super bright. Now if you look closely, we have some sort of light right in the middle of the windshield. Okay, let's take a look inside. I love this black interior. Right over here in the middle, there's a Troy center console, and it looks like they're running a Smart Siren SM. Unfortunately, there is no power running to any of these. There is a Motorola XTL 5000, very common model seen through many agencies. Looks like they removed the traffic advisor controller, which is under the seat here for some reason. I'm gonna grab it here in just a bit. The controller lights up that bar right there in the rear here it is i'm gonna reconnect everything and light it up here in just a bit there's a mic and a flashlight charger right over here is a data connector that went to a computer system i'm gonna have to eventually replace all these buttons since they're in really bad shape all right so let's remove this light over here Let's test this baby out. Now check this out. Super bright, red and blue. And, uh, this is by Signal Master. All right, I just yanked off the siren speaker and I unbolted the other lights. So it is a federal signal, 100 watt. I did get very frustrated <laughs> end up breaking this thing, but I mean, it still works, I hope. And we got blue for the passenger side, red for the driver's side. All right, let's start this baby up. You guys hear that? Now I have no idea why it's doing that. So let's, let's go try to figure this out right now. Now I was gonna lift it, but I just looked right under here and check this out. For some no good reason, the muffler is missing. There's only one muffler. I wonder if they lost the muffler and then they just did an emergency fix. I'm not sure, but I really do not like the way this car sounds. Okay, so she's got 146,000 miles. Let's go ahead and look under the hood. Oh, okay. So she's got a 3.5 liter V6. This baby pushes out about 285 horsepower, give or take. It's not super fast, but it's not bad at all. It is faster than a Crown Vic. It's got more torque than the Crown Vic. Clean, dirty, but clean. So I will be fixing this and repainting the hood. We're gonna be ordering the grill here real soon this looks like a special agent man earpiece chemical biological decom hmm. 
So right over here in the passenger side, it looks like some dash light here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to light these up. Now would you look at that, I was not expecting amber as the color. Oh, and the other one is blue. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then of course you could change the patterns right here. I wonder what happened here. This looks like a freaking bullet hole. Uh-oh. Maybe there's something in there. Random trash. There's a flashlight holder over here. Please be a biscuit. What the hell is this? Now that's an interesting way to entertain yourself. Now that is the real sound that the T-Rex made. Trust me, bro. Oh, what is this? Yep, nine millimeter pizza. All right, let's take a look in the back. What, what, what? Okay, so it's some sort of tactical vest. Uh, doesn't look like anything too fancy. It's pretty cool. These are very nice back seats. It looks like it never had a cage. So maybe this was a detective car. I don't think it ever had any markings in it either. A power converter, 1000 watt. What? Bunch of police paperwork. Consolidated arrest report. Oh, hey, look, US Air Force. Shears. Now these are not just any scissors. These things will cut to just about anything. Let me show you. Now this is a seatbelt. We all know how tough these seatbelts are. Straight right through wire. Just about everything here is federal signal. Let's test these out. Okay, check it out. So it's dual color, extremely bright, of course. That is so dope. Micropulse by Federal Signal. All right, now it's time to remove this thing. All right, check it out. A Federal Signal Model 03, yeah, I don't know, 2468 head. All right, let's light this thing up. Sick, it got it working. Can change the patterns with this thing. Going to the left and to the right. Dope. Please be a biscuit. And I ain't talking about bread. Wait, bread sounds good right now. Okay, let's start from here and work our way this way. This, this must be for undercover work. Under the cover. What the heck is this doing here? We got some type of component cable. Oh. And a uh, light cover. Can you tell? Oh, yeah, this is the brain for, yep, XTL 5000. Yeah, you know what those are. And we got some jumper cables here and strobe light. Hopefully, the other one's in here too. Wow, this is pretty heavy duty. Jeez. Okay, we got police tape, police line. Do not cross. What the hell? Some sort of tactical magazine. But why is it so sticky? Hmm, let me check this out here soon. Oh, we got a spare. What a spare hug cap. What's down there? You guys see the steel reinforcement? This vehicle was made to withstand a 80 mile per hour crash from either side. Like I said, it's made for police by police. That's pretty damn cool. You won't see that in a Kia. What the heck is this? I think this is uh, one of those little whippets that these kids be uh, huffing these days. Weird. Some sort of uh, evidence collector. Some fluffy bag. That's odd. Nice full spare. Oh sh! Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that scared us. What the hell is this? So, my question is, was this a police weapon? Or is this something that they took away from a criminal? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Not a cop, I could have told you that. <laughs> Let's see if this will light up. Oh. All right, got this light bulb. Let's see if this lights up. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Fucking Einstein over here. <laughs> That is dope. Let's see if this uh, corner strobe will work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay guys, so I plan on fully restoring this Taurus. She's getting a new grill, new button layouts. I'm going to fix the muffler, repaint the hood, buff out the car and tune her up and then I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do with her I'm not too sure of course I'm gonna film everything and drop a video and if you guys are not following me on Instagram you guys are missing out there's a link in the description I post daily and keep you guys updated there on Instagram so hit that like button and thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it and special shout out to all my channel members new members only content coming this week really appreciate you guys all right catch you on the next one and i won't take so long to post next time i promise all right peace